and people were running out of the store. Two kids at home. I said, we gotta go. We gotta run. So I left without him and I started so I ran. out the door. I saw everybody running around the corner and the lady was like, he's coming, he's coming, there's a shooter. And everybody just started running out the building. We got everybody inside, shut the gate, was trying to protect everybody we could until the cops got here. A gun scare sparks fear and a lot of confusion inside Fort Wayne's Glenbrook Mall. Good evening, I'm Chris Maluli. Thanks for joining us tonight. Waves of Black Friday shoppers emptying out of the mall this afternoon after police say a gun fell to the ground during a struggle. Fox 55 News was first on the scene and Gentil Neal joins us live in the studio. Gentil, what did police say happened during all this? Chris, Glenbrook Mall just closed a little while ago for a second time today. It was a hectic scene just here hours ago as Fort Wayne police were searching for a man with a gun. I saw everybody running around the corner and the lady was like, he's coming, he's coming, there's a shooter. Fear, panic, and confusion. Told him that we gotta go. Black Friday shopper shopping bags still in hand, pouring out of Glenbrook Mall today just after three. Many saying they heard gunshots. I, have, I heard the four gunshots that you don't want. While police say no shots were fired, no one knew that as officers ran in and people ran out. Some into the arms of worried friends and family. Well, I was in a wheelchair because I just had surgery. So luckily we were in the, we were in Express, but we were just sitting there and I heard everyone screaming. I was asking her like, Mom, why is everyone screaming? She saw everyone running. McKenna Monell says she and her mother and a few others went into the back of the store for safety. She was more panicking because I couldn't fit the wheelchair back in their storage area. Judy Sewerts ran to her husband. I was sitting on a bench. He was getting a haircut. And more and more people started running towards me and it got real scary. And I ran into the barbershop and they shut the doors down. So we were safe. Video posted to social media appears to show a struggle. Officer Mark Beaker says that's when they believe a gun fell to the ground. They were able to see an altercation that took place between uh, two males. Uh, there was, you can hear on some audio, you can hear where someone said, mentioned the word gun, but at no time was there any shots fired. The mall did reopen tonight just before 5.30 after police gave all the clear. Officers say no suspect has been yet identified or in the studios until nil, Fox 55 News.